I want to tell you a story of the old days, when people were different from now. As you know, we Eskimos live in the land of the North Wind, a land of much ice and snow for the greater part of the year. But in spite of the cold, many animals live with us, and many beautiful plants grow during our short spring and summer. There are more animals, plants, and insects than one would expect to find in this cold land. I could not begin to count all of them. Instead, I will tell you about a few of these marvelous creatures. And when I am finished, you can go out into our snowy world and see for yourself that what I say is true. The lemming lives under the snow. In the old days, we Eskimos believed that lemmings came down from the sky in snowstorms. The lemming has many enemies. Because it lives in trails under the snow, it is hard to see. But if it comes up on top of the snow, it is easily seen by a hungry owl or a wolf. Our dogs were true animals of winter. The blizzard might cover them with snow, but our dogs slept in the open, nose to tail. In winter, they will eat almost anything made from skins, including even your boots. Nothing is safe from the hungry jaws of an Eskimo dog. The seasons change. There is joy in feeling spring come to the great world and watching the sun follow its ancient way. The birds come again to their nesting places and the air is filled with their noise. The animals that lived where we lived were good food for the Eskimos. We were thankful for their presence. Smoke from the campfire brought joy to the hunter. The sound of pots on the boil drove away famine. The birds of the air were hunted and the smallest bones were crunched in our teeth. To the Eskimo, all animals were a possible meal and a duck or a gull stewing in the pot was a fine smell in the nose of a hungry man. I remember how my father, after eating his share of the hunt, would sometimes find a little cave in which to sleep. Go from me now, Tuktu, he would say. Leave me for a short time that I might close my eyes and rest. 
Then, with a warm feeling in my heart, I would look at him lying there, sleeping peacefully. Sometimes our family would go on a trek, perhaps to the stone weir, the place of many fishes, or to pick berries on the hill. During these journeys, I would see many strange and wonderful things, including animals and birds. Said my father, your eyes are young, Taktu. Watch carefully. Perhaps you will see a ground squirrel. And it was so. As a young boy, I remember finding berries where, in a few short weeks, deep snow would cover the earth. I love to go walking where berries grow. The fruit of autumn is on the hills. I love to go walking far away and pluck the fruit of the passing year. The sun will follow its ancient way and the snow will fall where the flowers grew. The snow will fall and cover the land. Then my thoughts will go out to a summer day and I shall remember the world as it used to be. I remember seeing the weasel playing among the rocks near the shore. Here was a fierce creature, a bold hunter with a fiery spirit. My father once gave me the skull of a weasel. Wear it as a good luck charm, he said. The weasel fears nothing, Taktu. He is bold and strikes terror in the heart of his prey. Be filled with his spirit and you will surely be a great hunter. My father spoke true words. The weasel is a marvel among animals. Weasels eat meat and fish. If they kill more than they can eat, they hide the meat for future use. The weasel is brave. He is no bigger than your outstretched hand, yet he has been known to attack a bear. The lemmings and all such creatures are the natural prey of the weasel. But the lemming is also a great marvel. Suddenly, at certain times, a madness comes upon them and they seek to leave this world. I have seen countless numbers of these small creatures throw themselves into the sea. Perhaps the sea goddess calls to them. It is a great mystery. Truly, the lemming is a strange animal. is full of birds that come and go with the passing seasons. The sandpiper comes from far away where the sun never leaves the sky and snow is never seen by those who live there. Many of these birds come north in spring and summer to nest and raise their young. I remember asking my father to explain these great mysteries. It is sufficient that they come and they go, he said. To know more would be foolish. It is better that little Taktu learns how to make a bow than fill his head with things that are useless.
One day my father took me to the high cliffs beside the sea where the kittiwakes live. These kittiwakes are seagulls and their eggs are good to eat. The seasons change. The time of the great cold is close at hand. Life is a journey from the warm summer and the cries of birds to the snow of winter. But in my mind, I can still hear the wolf howl from far away and the great sighing of the new formed ice. Thus we came to the time of seals blowing and the barking of dogs. Then my father made ready for our journey to winter camp. come to the great world and in watching the moon, now half moon, now full, follow its ancient way. Only the air spirits know what lies beyond the hills. Yet I urge my team farther on, drive on and on, and on and on. That is the way we used to live. 